Randy Feltis, <laughs> Massimo Capra, Jason Parsons, all in the house. How are we doing? I'm pretty good. Good. When it comes to food, I don't think there's ever been a time when we've had so many foodies and have been so on trend. So we're going to talk about the trends. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. You're all in the business. You've all been in the business for a very long time. So the whole show today, we're going to tackle different trends and show you what's really hot in food for 2016. I've got some stats with me right now. This is according to the National Restaurant Association, okay? So this is professional chefs that have come up with these trends. Locally sourced meats and seafood, big trend. Yes. Locally grown produce, yep. natural ingredients, minimally processed food, new cuts of meats, sustainable seafood. So all really good things. Yes. There you go. So we're going to go uh, with the sustainable seafood trend because this is what your recipe is sort of a nod to. Yes. And it's poke. Poke. Can you please explain what poke is? Because it sounds fun. It does sound fun. <laughs> I think this is why it's trending. It's, it's just the next step. We started with sushi and sashimi, and then we went to ceviche, yes. Korean ceviche. Well, this is Hawaii. Hawaiian poke. It's Hawaiian poke. And it basically translates to cut or to slice. But what you need is the freshest of fresh fish. So right. we have a yellowfin tuna today, which ah. I picked up on my way here. So it would be ultimately the freshest fish we could possibly the find. The only way to get fish fresh out I did of not the get that source. done, but you know, <laughs> I, I picked it up and I brought it right down to nice. And so you can tell just how beautiful it is and it's glistening. So Jason, if you just want to get me like maybe six ounces of that and like a nice bit of a small dice. Small dice? Small dice. Wow. You got it, right? that is, so this is, I mean, that, that's not a cheap, it's not cheap to get that. That's not inexpensive. Uh, it's yeah. super fresh. <laughs> this is number one sushi grade. So yeah, the, the better quality, the more expensive it yeah. is. It's like everything in life. If you want to eat a Ferrari, it's going to cost you some money. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. And it is a Ferrari. Okay. But the, Fresh we, is important though, because you're you're doing this, this is raw. And we're just, yeah, it's gonna be mm. a raw application. It's gonna let marinate for about 20 minutes, but today maybe one. Yeah. So we're just gonna put a little bit of maybe. flavor into it. So Massimo, if you could grate a little yeah. bit of ginger in there, and then we'll kind of go down the line. I brought some some sesame oil, Okay. which we could do a touch of that. I'm just gonna reach over, you don't mind, Mass? Yep, go nuts. Am I going right That's in? That's enough, Yeah, go right in. What you need? I got a little bit of soya. And then I got, they usually calls for like a, a stronger onion, but I want to keep it really, really subtle and just go green onion, or sorry, chives. Okay. We've got some toasted sesame here. And then Massimo, if you don't mind, grab the chilies and chilies? the macadamia. And Ooh. chilies, that much. Oh, you, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 come on. Yeah. Okay, yeah. But fresh and the macadamia, you throw like it like in. Raw fish can take heat, which is great. Right? That's right. Yeah, that's true. And then you know what? Give me a little pinch of salt and a little pinch of pepper, you know, and then we'll give it a stir. What would be the difference, right. would you say, between um, like poke and, and sashimi? Well, it the, looks pre it's pretty much the same, isn't it? It's, well, no, a sashimi is a certain cut, and it, it's raw, and it's on your plate, and it's not dressed. Right. Right, and then you dip it in oh, your so soy. It's not so it's just this a little dress. It's basically a salad, and where it's really cool, it's versatile. So you normally get crisps and like some kind of chips or something. And you put it on, and it's like a little, hey, what's up? Yeah. Kind of appetizer. It's a little, hey, what's up? So what we're gonna do? How about that? Well, me. Give it Ready? A taste. Let me know. Yeah, I think okay. it's perfect. We're gonna deep fry. We're gonna deep fry some potato. sweet potato chips. That's right? always a good idea. So go to I your think. grocery store, buy a big one, get your yeah. mandolin here, and then just give it a nice uniform kind of slice. The beautiful thing about this is it actually turns out to be gluten free, which oh, I nice. don't know if that's on trend. I think that trend's going out, but we'll still carry it's it still on today. Though, you know right? what? I it feel can like be very it is. important. Everything's gluten free now, and I mean, you should only really be eating gluten gluten free if you need to be eating yeah. gluten free. But it is a big trend. Everybody wants to get rid of the gluten. Yeah. What's happening here? So it's <laughs> interesting. Doesn't it? it's going so on. what you're, you're wondering? Well, those are really nice sweet potatoes, but like, glasses? how do you make your sweet potato into a taco shell? Okay. Got so, a couple of ready ones here. A couple little ready, yeah. and then. And when they come out, they're hot. Like that's kind of burning my fingers oh, and stuff. Yeah. Oh, but we're just gonna dear. bend well, it around there. This and is so see smart. what's going on. And then you can't hold it because it's hot. Just take your bar towel. Okay. Put it on top. Just walk away. Are you making you taco know, shells? You can get yourself a beer. Maybe pour a little wife some wine. You okay. can you know what's that's going right. on. Check out the television. Yeah. And then when you come back, they're gonna be firm and pressed into Cute. a little taco shape. You know what? Right? This is so smart. And what's going on there? Right. So. Massimo, yep. you can use this for here. Fill this up. And now, so this is kind of cool That's for awesome. a cocktail party yeah. because you could just sit there and you could keep loading them up. 
um, or even as like a, an appetizer if that was going to be your first course, like kind of your amuse. You're going to be like, whoa, what's going shell. on? I just want to eat the shell. It's really good. It's well, I like another the one? fact yeah, that you sure. put macadamia yeah. in so, there. Sure. So I'm now different. we're going to take it to the next level because you, you got to impress your dinner party people. Yeah, you know, if you don't want to come over for dinner maybe once a year. You got to make sure that it's top shelf and then don't invite them back. That's right. So <laughs> never do it again. Jason has uh, two different types of caviar down there. And we're talking about sustainability and seafood. Well, you know, I like caviar a lot, you know. So yeah. I brought the real Canadian sturgeon farm raised oh, on the right, which is sustainable, organic, and absolutely perfect and beautiful. Yep. And then on the left, we have a seaweed based caviar. Oh, nice. So the taste is about, let's say, like $8 a jar to about $90 a jar. Okay. But that's <laughs> that's awesome, though. The, this stuff's the, great. No, I'm all the this. seaweed stuff is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. If you actually taste them side by each, you'd probably think that the seaweed would be worth a little bit more considering what the other one's worth. Okay. It just depends on how much you like your guests. Yeah. Well, and I think <laughs> Which one are you going to buy? Too, right? Good point. Yeah, when you say seaweed, too, I think people have that kind of, oh, wait a minute. But it yeah. doesn't have that. It's a real mm. clean flavor to it. They it's still nice have nice right. pop you to it. some up there? Nice. Yeah. Put some caviar in that, Put some please, because on we really like the guests. Is and there more like to do? There's one more. Yeah, there's one more. Just do it. Okay. Look at that. Put that on top of there. Sassy. It's nice if you have a couple chefs at home. They can just keep Don't passing you stuff as you're plating, yeah. right? No and then how. I just like, I made a little piping bag with oh, yeah. a it's good, with man. a Ziploc bag. And then because I know Massimo there absolutely you go. loves curly parsley, you oh. gotta go old school cool on this. <laughs> you know what? Oh, Look at how no. teeny tiny everything. Right back into the eighties. That's so much you can do with that, eh? I love it. Okay, so you've built up this cool thing. So poke, yes, that's the trend. But also, you've done a lot of really sustainable, um, sustainable seafoods, and I think that that is awesome. 